What's up y'all, it's Tashara back again with another video and today I am sharing with you all things Diptyque. It is a luxury skincare, beauty, fragrance, candle company and I admit it, I am obsessed, okay? Maybe there's like a Diptyque Anonymous meeting that I can go to, I'm not sure. At this point, the first step is admitting you have a problem, okay? It's expensive. It's a little bougie, but sometimes you just got to treat yourself. So, recently, my family took a trip to Paris, myself, my mom, um, and my aunt, and we had the extreme fortune of walking into the Diptyque flagship store and actually getting the store all to ourselves, which meant an exclusive tour. I have all that behind the scenes content that I will share with you in this video and also let you know what I got from the store. So if you were interested, just keep watching. Up next is a tour of the Diptyque flagship store in Paris. Okay. You have three uh, fondateurs. You have the picture of him here. The, oh, the, the founders. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and um, the first eau de toilette is uh, this, the loo. Wow. Can I smell it? Yes. It's a little spicy. This is the 50 years of this uh, okay. old. Very spicy. It smells like, what does it smell like? It's definitely spicy. Yeah, they are spicy. Yeah, it smells good though. It's like a cinnamony clove. Yeah, like cinnamon. Like. Yeah, it smells yes. good. <laughs> and uh, you have this, this is the smell of the store. Okay. This store. You have um, a chemist uh, come in this store and uh, encapsulate the smell. Okay. And uh, do this uh, perfume with spicy flowers and woody. Oh, that smells good. I can yeah. smell that. Ooh, <laughs> it's that very smells... intense. Yeah, that smells Ooh, good. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> <laughs> that smells really good. Oh, it is. <laughs> with patchouli, bergamot, mousse, and uh, little it's notes so of lavender. This is a new candle. I so in it. France. So in candle it. Paris, a limited edition. Oh. <laughs> Can I smell those? Yes. I waste it very light oh, and floral. Mm, it's very light. For some reason, that makes me think of champagne. <laughs> I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, it's and, very light. Um, and I know, right? <laughs> oh, that smells good. What's the notes in this one? English, Isabel, Grass. Grass. Cut grass. You know, oh wow! So it's, uh, it's very yeah, green and grassy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm sitting shy. It's a diffuser. Yes. Oh, that smells warm. That smells very warm. Mm. Do you know, I've been looking for the Rose Delight and it's sold out yes. in my area. We can't find it anywhere. Because it's a limited edition. Yeah. And here you have uh, uh, some uh, Rose Delight. Okay. But it's... Uh, it's done, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can we smell it? I've never even smelled it. <laughs> Yeah. It's not like oh, this. I love that. It's about Turkish delight, sweetie. Yeah, this is a limited that. edition. We can't find it anywhere in the U.S. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't. I like that. This is when you are official. A big. This is the Beyonce of candles. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Beyonce of candles. So nice. 
Do you have um, any new roller fragrances? Or any? Uh, no. So for the roses, or maybe you have the little perfume in the set if you want to choose. Oh, you, you can choose which yes. one? Yes. this rose delight candle I picked this up in the 6.5 ounce size the thing about diptyque candles and it's not actually in here I've been burning it but I'm just I mean why does the box smell so good I mean you could literally take this box out and just like put it in your office put it in your living room put it in your bathroom and I guarantee you the box itself will will scent the entire room so the Rose Delight fragrance is kind of like Turkish Delight, but roses. And so I wish I could tell you what the base notes are of this. Let's see. Obviously rose. And it doesn't tell you. If I can find the base notes, I will put them on the screen. It's probably something I should know. I just know it smells good. <laughs> okay. Um... And uh, again, I got it in the six, six point five ounces. This is what it looks like. Been burning it. Been back from Paris now for um, over a month, and I burn this candle almost every day, and it's still about halfway full. I think that just goes to show you how slowly diptyque candles burn. And again. If I light this either upstairs or downstairs, it makes the whole floor of my house smell really, really good. And so I went back and forth about whether or not to get this fragrance, but it had been sold out in this area forever. And I'm happy I did. So this is um, the Rose Delight candle. What else did I get, girl? One of the things that was kind of like a, uh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll give it a try was this it is the scented oval comes in a box that looks like this and it's basically solid perfume but it's meant to either hang in your closet or you can put it in your drawer and this is in the fragrance 34 34 is the fragrance that was created just for the flagship store which is at 34 saint germain boulevard in paris um, it is, girl, so it's a little masculine, like when you first smell it, you're like, oh, that's about to smell like Axe, <laughs> or like Brute, it's a cheap masculine cologne, but then it says, ah, not so fast, we're a little bit more sophisticated than that, and then it hits you with all these other notes, again, which I will put on the screen, um, and it just smells, it smells divine. And so if you're interested in something that's not fruity, um, that's not too sweet and just has a very fresh smell to it, this would be it. And I mean, I would actually, now that I have smelled this, I would get this in everything from the perfume to the body oil to the soap. I'm a fan of 34. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. At first, I didn't smell anything. And I was like, well, that was stupid. I mean, I could have spent the money on this um on something completely different and i thought it was a waste and then i took it with me on a trip I took it with me to la i put it in my suitcase and while i was taking my clothes out of my suitcase i just hung it up in the closet walked out came back in the room an hour later and i was like what is that smell this hotel smells so good girl it was this 
And I don't know if like my nose just got alerted to it or what happened, but ever since then, this has been everything. So it's not it's not a candle, so it's obviously not going to um, throw, the scent won't carry in the same way a candle will, but it will consistently smell really, really well in the room that it's in or near whatever piece of furniture it's in. So I keep it in our spare bedroom where all of my clothes are hanging in the closet. Um, and that room smells excellent. It is, hands down, I am a fan now of these scented, um, scented ovals by Diptyque. That was the second thing I received or I got when I was in Paris. The next thing, again, was something that I wasn't in love with. Um, I've never had the soaps before from Diptyque. But again, when I went to the store in Paris, I realized they had so much body and skincare. I just wanted to try something. And also, I remember why I got this. I was really close to giving my getting my VAT back, my, um, what is it called? My tax back. If you spend 175 euro, you get your taxes back. And so I got this. It was like 20 euro. Um, and it is the Lombre fragrance. Um, it's probably pronounced Lombre. Um... And uh, I wasn't a fan. Now, now, here's the thing. If you get the soap in a fragrance that you love, this is 5.3 ounces. It lasted for probably about two weeks, maybe three. Um, and I was not using this consistently because, again, I didn't love the smell. But I do think um, that if you get this in a fragrance that you really like, you will be pleased with this. Um, it is a good size. It, it makes your whole bathroom smell, um, whatever the, the fragrance is, obviously. And it leaves your skin very, you know, feeling very soft, very nourished. It's not, I mean, it's a bar of soap, y'all. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's not something that I, I would feel a need to purchase again. But if you are really into soaps, then I say give it a try and just get a fragrance that you really love. The last thing I got, I've not opened yet. And I don't know when or if I will. I'm saving it for a special occasion. Um, but this... Oh, girl, I just smelled it. I think maybe when we move, I might I might open this. But this is the Paris candle. Um, I, for obvious reasons, right? I had to get this. Um, I just love it so, so much because it will always remind me of our trip. It smells so good i have forgotten what this smell like and again i'll put the notes um on the screen again it's one of those fragrances it's a very fresh smell that's my jam um it's a little sweeter than the rose delight and i don't know if it's sold exclusively at the flagship but i know it's sold exclusively in paris and so i'm saving this for a special occasion it's another 6.5 ounce candle um, and it's just been on my mantle downstairs for the longest. So this is the last thing that I purchased. Came home with a bunch of great samples as well. Most of those I gave away. But the great part about going to Diptyque, either if you are at a department store or if you go to one of the freestanding stores in Paris, is that their sample game is on 100. So if you have an essay who has not given you samples, make sure you ask because you can come away testing out a whole bunch of really great products from them. My wish list. And I'll, I'll, I'll put all these things on the screen. First is the Roses perfume or just perfume period. I don't know why I did not pick up perfume. That's so silly to me that I came away with two candles and no perfume. So I think I was just overwhelmed with like being in the store that I wasn't making the smartest purchases. And so definitely if you are traveling or if you're going for a special occasion, go with the plan because the flagship stores are just, as you saw, are so beautiful or the freestanding stores in Paris and the flagship store in particular. It's so beautiful that you, it's just like, it's like you're at Disneyland and, and you just pick up random stuff that you don't need. Um, so with that said, I really want a fragrance and I have been using my little sample of the Roses perfume forever. Um, since before I went to Paris, I picked up a few at the store, I think probably in DC and in Tyson's Corner. 
and I'm ready to just take the plunge and get it because I love it. Some people say that the fragrance is so light that it doesn't really carry like all day long. And so that's why I think I'm going to get it in the roller ball so I can just put it in my purse and reapply it. I have got to get another one of these, y'all. Like I want one of these in every closet in my house. Downstairs, upstairs, fam living room, kitchen, like everywhere I can put one of these, I want one. I just think it's such a great way to just brand your house if that makes sense not brand your house but you know how like people's houses just smell a certain way this would be something that i would want to leave my house smelling like and for folks to come into my house to be able to and smell the last so, thing that i want to try by diptyque is the shower foam so um if you follow me over on instagram i'm always probably ranting and raving about sophia sophia is down in south florida she is my instagram base she is my skincare plug she's my fragrance plug sophia just helps me to navigate this whole bougie luxury skincare fragrance world and um recently diptyque sent her the new shower foam in rose and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. She says that it's so soft, it leaves your skin feeling like very nourished and supple and it smells great. Um, so I think I really want to try that um, for my bath time, shower time, which I'm all about, um, those self-care moments. And so those are the three items that are on my wish list. If you love Diptyque, Tell me what you want down below or just your thoughts about the store in Paris and any thoughts about what I picked up. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you want to see more of this face because it belongs on the tizzle. And I'll see you next time. Peace.